Oh, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Avatar review, and this one's on the Floating Mountains, uh, Site-26, and RDA Samson. So on the front of the box here, we which have the LEGO and Avatar logos, and the Floating Mountains Pandora in the background, and picture of everything that there is, and that neat border that we've seen on all, that we see on all the sets and all the meat figs included and recommended ages 9 and up set number 75573 has 887 pieces <clears throat> so on the, the back of the box we which have the lego avatar logos again set number and also different views and the, one, the main features of the set and also, do get an alternate view of the set, of course, and Lego.com, of course. Yeah. And now on to the instruction manuals, which comes with three manuals since you can now, because with these sets, you can like separate the builds out amongst three people if you wish to. Like as shown here. On the back of this one, add for the online survey, and then out of all the sets together, and how the Pandora builds can connect together, obviously. And then the last building steps for all that. Second of which, which builds just this section of here, and then just the Lego Avatar logos again. And then just the last building steps of that. And then this one of which on the back add for rebuild the world. And then add all the pieces that come with the set, which is four whole pages. And then just a little screenshot from the movie and also the couple last building steps of it. And again. Oh, so there is another one of it somewhere in here. Okay, another screenshot from the movie. Uh, again, of course. And of course, get another one of these newer envelopes which hold both the instructions and sheets of stickers into keep in good shape, of which, good to see there. First off, for the mini fix here, which I'll zoom up a bit. First up, we would have the human version Jake Sully with some interesting torso printing with the uh, RDA Samson on a uh, t-shirt printed or tank top printing to the exact. But not only leg printing for him, not that it's necessary for, since he's in his wheelchair, of course, and the uh, and whereas for the hair piece, which done quite well for him, and and, and of course has the a breathe uh, air mask that they always wear, of course. Yes. Uh, anyways, and now on to Doctor Grace Augustine, uh, which is a Gorney Weaver's character in the movie, of course. This where her hair piece of which uh, quite well for her the uh, torso print leg printing done quite well and also the leg print of which uh, of which duly mold, dual molded looks quite good for that and now are the torso print leg face printing all done quite good and next to which is this truly check on yeah. Truly Chacon, of which Michelle Rodriguez's character in the film, and as you can see, does have her white tank top on, and and also not only like printing, of course, and also do get nice belt detailing, representing that it's half of the jumpsuit that she has on, and whereas for the face print, quite interesting, which you can definitely use on some custom figs, and has a com link, link bit down below. Oh, let me show a little better. Uh, 
but yeah, as you can see, done quite good for that. The next to which we have an Avatar version, Jake Sully, and his uh, Tours of Print like printing, all done quite good for that. And of course, similar to his versions that come in other sets, of course. And the expression, quite suiting to how he is in some of the movie. And of course, wielding the uh, knife sheath. And although it would have been nice if he could have included the actual knife piece for that. And of course, wielding the bow and arrow, of course. And last of which, have Norm Spellman, the bad avatar version of him. Although it would be nice if we also could have gotten the human version of him as well. Well, maybe that could come in another set down the line, but aside from that, well, although good to see the extra long leg pieces, but in a different color, dark tan, first time in that color, which is very neat, very great for that. Although I do see this working out well on Groot, of course, and also the face printing, quite nice for that, and also the spear, quite similar to what Jake and Atiri also have in other sets as well. And as for the back torso printings of each of them, which if I turn all these around, then as you see, all of which do feature some back torso printing, and except, and as for the a double side face print so which as you see grace also has the air mask which and do get a regular face for her truly of course but although jake's a witch uh, kind of underwhelming i th which i think should have had some bit of a scruffle to him since he does in some of the movie although what would have been nice for this jake sully is to have a side arm printing to represent the tattoo that he has on. And now for this minifig lineup overall, a quite good selection of minifigs, although once again could have included the human version of Norm Spellman, but maybe that'll be in a at a different time, but yeah. Also, hopefully we get another version of Truly, but with the full jumpsuit, of course, but yeah. And, and that's about it with the mini things. And now on to the dire horse, which, as you can see, look with, as you can see, also does just about close to in the movie, of course. Like the sculpting, of which quite similar to most Lego horses that we're used to, but at least done a little differently. Like with the uh, two sets of front legs, quite neat for that. And as for the head piece, of which would doesn't at all have any articulation onto it, which is kind of a bummer, but whatever. But however, the sculpting of it, excellent. Kind of close to its in-movie versions, of course. And as for the back part of which, also well cap captured very well, of course. With this nice stripe bit all the way down. As, although, and also, if you can notice how the like breathing vents there of course and also like the uh, thanatar and banshees do you get these newer style whip pieces which have some connection bit on the end of which which if you detach this middle brick piece off just like we had with all other horse pieces where you can slip a knobby onto it and and of course Take this bit and plug it onto their braided ponytails. Just like so. Although it's kind of a bit, it gives a bit of effort to do so, but at least still not well. And as you see, done quite well for that. And that's about it with the dire horse, of course. First up with the builds is this other little section of Pandora, as you know, of course, which as you see, kind of smaller and then, or 
not as much going on than like the ones that came in the other sets of which but although the one that comes with the tree of souls set is quite larger but at least this which fair uh, kind of a fair amount of things as the other ones of course but yeah but however let me zoom in which for this bottom section at least the like clip attachment bits like this one and the main clip part at least they are kind of angled outwards There's, of course even if you are to make all the builds together come together like in a circle format form but whatever and also you get plenty of sand green on this build and also plenty of the flower pieces is in uh, in this yellowish orange or as some of you call it, orange, of course and then also plain leaf pieces with flowers on them and also those dish pieces in dark lavender or in darkish pink color nice to see here and also those like super stand pieces but in dark blue great to see and just like we have with some of the other sets of which is this piece which if you remember from the angry birds movie line was used as the crown of the king pig but this time in glow in the dark it was great to see here and for this back part which just a, a large plate and not much going on although you could add some extra stuff to it if you wanted and of course I have one of those pieces that connects to this whip piece here and all of it is on this large clear stand to of course represent that this mountain bit is floating and also some technipics that go to this little vine like piece here going upwards and then goes upwards and it's sticking out to there which I'll show later then for the rest of this build of which another bit of that going on and have the large whip like piece ending off there and of course enough room of plenty of studs around to stand the mini fig onto of course and that's about it with this build side build Now on to site 26, which for first glance looking just about like how it does in the movie, of course. But if you remember on the movie, there's like two bits of this that like come together, of course, and are connected a bit. But although, if you remember that in the film, they like take half, one of half off and it's there in the final, uh, big final battle, of course. Although, unless if you got a second one of this set and like modified it to connect together, of course, maybe the or maybe there will be another one of this in another wave or two. But that's just me. But we'll see. But although, but like as for these leg bits, which are on all four sides, com composed of mainly these kind of pieces and the traditional uh, rods and cylinders and also those little pieces those like hang on kind of pieces there there I wish to put to some good use of that and also get this little rampway that leads to the door with one of those one by one tiles that has a keypad on it and then as for this back section which has another cylinder piece with an astromech droid bot headpiece there. Probably represents some like oxygen tank for it. And as for this other section, which does have this like little wheel bit there. And also do have some like caution strip plates there. And of course, some good use of those other uh, jagged slopes on there and also done quite well and of course a couple of usual window bits which you can see out quite well 
the other side of which just a couple of grilled pieces acting as vents but also not much going on as for the roof same thing on the roof bit of which in a couple of sand blue uh tile pieces there and also this antenna bit from so they can interact with the rest of home base of course and of course one of the main features you can just pop off this whole roof bit with a bit of the wall to it and look inside of which you can see have plenty of accessibility to it like this one side room is which shows like one half of the newer book pieces but in trans blue and a sticker piece on it that shows the brain and the holographic screen of the brain well to of course show their uh, brain activity of course and the little chair that it tends to spin around of course on this one side I would have a two by two plate or tile I wish that has a sticker showing uh, Jake Sully's traditional form on it of which monitoring his uh, activity of course and on one side do you have the transpod which comprise of the usual door and doorway kind of pieces to it and also with this roundish the rounded plates on it represent the spinning bit to it but doesn't actually spin would be nice if it actually did and of course like the movie you can just open it up and just have some bright blue uh, uh, tile pieces in there. Well, two by six ones. Nice to see in blue, but although I think they should have been in aqua blue, so, of course, and you can just fit them right into there. All, but also, don't get the like framing thing that goes over him, of course. But and of course, can like close it right up. Nice to see. So, which quite glad about that feature. And that's about it with Site 26 building. And now, lastly, on to the RDA Samson, which is this helicopter like build, which is kind of reminiscent of some other helicopter builds we get in Lego City, of course. But this, which has two uh, blade pieces, well, suiting to that of the movie, of course. But at least he's good to see some unique stuff to here, but yeah. Which then on the front part of which that we would have this a uh, classic usual canopy type cockpit canopy piece, which does have some nice printings on it, and also do have a curved slope piece. But if you notice how on the movie there is some like markings that go right onto there, of course, but not sure why, but whatever. But as for this front part of which is some good snot. A good snot there and also plenty of extra snot bit here which you can see with this these little plates on the and of course representing the like camera bit or something on it but although this cockpit area which can pop right off and of course have a single seat on there and a little lever on there so in the core and also those gold bar pieces but in black nice to see and enough space to fit your truly minifig into and close it right over here just nicely there and on one side we which have see one sticker plate piece with the tiger symbol on it obviously and as for a couple little stud shooters Jack jetting out where you can tap on and they shoot out like so of course and for other but has some usual technique rods and bits kind of acting as the landing rails of course and if you wonder what this extra flat stud here is for just for extra ammunition but it's what you can do to store them on there if you want it and it has a large uh, open space ton enough to fit 
at least two minifigs on it too. And however, on the box it shows the Norm Spellman minifig okay, holding on to something there, but there's nothing to clip him onto there, unless if he has slipped his hand and right into that tiny gap there. And as for the back part of it, uh, plain more snot going on with just plates and a couple jagged slopes and ends up with these two little tail like fins that go upwards. And as for this uh, back part, there's the really good technique going on with the jagged slopes and also those like ridge pieces acting as like extra venting, of course. And also, yeah, a few uh, plates and a few uh, curved slopes, but with stickers on them, unfortunately. And also, good use of those rounded plates acting as other venting, of course. And as for these uh, copter wing bits, which do go up and down, of course. And they were comprised mostly of these large wheel-like pieces, which don't, which we don't see very much, but good to see here. And comprised of the classic propeller pieces, as well two of them. And they do uh, spin quite well. Well, unless if you got them loose enough. Like that, of course. And of course, one great thing about this uh, copter is perfect symmetry. Of course, which if you're much of a symmetry person, it's perfect that minus the front part, of course. And also for this back section, if you notice the like, little technical bits. Oh, also to show in a minute. Oh, also forgot to say is, if you remember how on the movie, is when it carries this bit onto it, and Norm is standing on there, of course, it, which has a few cables that are connected right onto it. But however, you don't get any string p pieces on this. Although you can like get some of your own string pieces and do that if on by yourself if you wanted. But yeah. And again, with that whole bit right here, which attaches to this main bill, to this pin on here. And it attaches on like so, and kind of just rests on there. Although kind of makes it look like, gives it a bit of a huff line feel to it. Now on to the final verdict. But overall, I think this is which a really good set for how it is. Like, get about five minifigs, which is the most minifigs included in any sets of this wave, of course. Even though two of which are Navi ones, but still good to see there. But Norm Spellman one. Good to see a little extra variety of that, of course, and also good cheap way to cheaper way to get the dire horse, of course, and also great to see both uh, Trudy, or Trudy and Jake and Grace, of course, and although we wish we could have gotten the other half of the of site twenty six, but maybe that'll come in a different wave, but yeah, and also. For how it is for all of this for a hundred dollars well really good for that and at least do get plenty good both both good play value and display value of course but yeah and if you're looking to get this set then definitely pick it up and that's about it with this video please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching